Welcome to Verbal Peak Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life, and we are everyday people like to welcome you all to the show. Look, I want to discuss the movie The Woman King, starring Viola Davis, which is a fantastic movie. Fantastic. I, I mean, I actually enjoyed it. Now, some didn't like the title, The Woman King, because they felt as if it was trying to demasculinate the man and masculinate the female by saying Woman King. But one thing you have to remember, right? When you're dealing with historical stories, there were no, um, there was, there, it wasn't a lot of misogyny going on in, in, in ancient times, right? It wasn't in, it wasn't that, that, that much, um, um, difference between respect for, uh, the man and the woman, right? Let me give you an example, right? You had, um, Pharaohs that were women, Nefertiti, Cleopatra, right? Uh, you also had Hasput, which is H A T S H E P S U T, and that was the sixth Pharaoh. Yeah, the sixth Pharaoh of the 18th dynasty. Uh, her rule was from. 1479 through 1458 B.C., right? And so, Pharaoh was synonymous to king. So, they could have switched it out and said the woman Pharaoh, okay, you know. You know, hey, could have a big deal. Now, another question that came about was, Can a trans man, transgender man, speak on behalf of women? And that's no. Because you can have a desire to be a female. You can even put on women's clothing. Uh, You can even study the inner and outer actions of a female, but you can't speak on the essence of being a female. It's impossible. You can't, you don't know her response and her um, mindset that's based off of her hormones on how she view or see things or her intuition or her instinct, right? That's that's one hundred percent strictly female. Uh, now you can speak on injustice or women's rights, women pay, uh, women's equality, things of that nature, as far as like a advocate, but actually speaking on the essence of a female. <laughs> It's impossible. Now, what was so great about the woman king? One, it showed you that in the eyes of the Anglo-Saxon, white is just white. You can uh, have tan skin or you know, be a light skin, a light brown, a dark brown, whatever brown you may deem yourself, but from the mindset of an Anglo-Saxon, white is white. Now, it showed that in the movie. You can be friends. Hell, they grew up together, but the white guy told him, (laughs) you ought to be lucky. That is not you up on that auction block. What he told Mulatto. Right. 
And and I don't want to spoil the movie for you, but you'll see the gist of it from uh, the guy's mother being from Africa and his daddy was white and that, you know, that story. Another story, wartime. When there's wartime and people getting ready to face war, then that means that all hands on dick. Hell, as I stated, World War II, hell, you had women making the bullets in the factory, all hands on deck during wartime. So that simply means that during wartime, uh, your mindset is different than what it was during peacetime, if you want to survive. In wartime, you need you need different uh, you need different elements. You need different skills. You need different functions from different people. Like female, you in in wartime you had female spies. You know you had females gathering intelligence, giving back to the soldiers. You know any kind of um, leverage you can get, you do and you use. Right, so that movie was based off of one wartime, and two, can we unify against the slavers who's coming to Africa to enslave the people? Yeah, at first it started off as, oh yeah, I captured this, uh, I captured uh, members of this tribe during the war. I'm going to sell them to uh, the Anglo Saxon to the white man. But what happened? Well, hell, he wanted more and more, and you start seeing him coming, depleting Africa, and you taking away your soldiers until they realize, well, hey, well, we got to, if we don't unite and come together, hell, he's going to own and take Africa and his resources, and Africa will be depleted, and majority of his citizens will be in slavery in a in another country. That unity, unity always keep popping up because when you have the same, when you have a common enemy and you have the same goal to be free, that should be enough to unify you unless something came in a way more powerful that keeps you disunified and you can't seem to figure out or find the answer to fight it off so you can unify. And so... Now, the hearts of the fathers return to the sons, and the hearts of the son return to the father. That's a two-way street because, one, um, the father has to know that he is a father and not his friend. The father has to know that he and the son aren't the same age. Y'all not doing the same thing. Y'all not going after the same women. Right. You can't do that. Two, the sons. The sons. You have to respect and learn from your father because you hit it that way. You know, you have to learn how to manage adulthood. And you learn it from your father. Right. So. With that being said. The movie. Is a. It's about history. But yet at the same time. It's about what's going on today. Meaning your history. Shapes your future. And there were certain things. That we done. Out of greed. That we paid for. But the time for unity is at hand. It's right now. But the the question is, can it be done? So we'll see. And I just want to touch bases on that. And uh, we'll have a part two to this topic on The Woman King. But go out and see it. Excellent movie. Excellent acting. Excellent plot. I learned a lot about history. I'm watching this. I got a different. Let's say this. I got a different perspective on what took place in the past, and I understand why certain things are the way it is today. I'll give you one example before I go. 
We all come from different tribes. Some women come from warrior tribes, and they think different from other women who didn't come from a warrior tribe. But we love them all. So don't feel uh, different if you're doing something different from other people because that you that because that might be the way of your ancestors. Embrace that. That's okay. You know. Hey, uh, uh, you still are you, right? And there's more out there like you. You just gotta find your tribe, and then. Then when you find your tribe, then you find how the tribe fit into the whole to where it becomes one moving unit. Verbal Pick Radio, we're out.